Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. I'm Brian Rodriguez. I'm CFO from America West Resources. How can you guys hear me in the back? We doing okay? Good. Yep. Thumbs up in the back. Good. All right, so I'm with America West Resources. We're a publicly traded coal mining company. Stock ticker symbol is AWSR. Reason for me being here is for market awareness. I'm not here to ask you to cut a check to me today. Uh, rather, if you like what you hear, we'd love for you to call your stock broker and let them know that you'd like to become a shareholder of America West and buy stock in the open market. So with that, we'll, we'll uh, proceed into the presentation. Uh, this is the slide just to make my attorney happy. And uh, let me set the stage for you. Coal has a tremendous outlook. It's no secret what's happening in Japan right now. Cost of natural gas is erratic. There's many, many driving factors here that makes it very apparent that coal is going to have a long run. It's going to be a very, very sustained run. We'll talk about that a little bit more shortly. Regarding coal, we have some of the most plentiful, cleanest coal reserves in the western United States. Over 100 million tons of coal surround our horizon mine, and it's extremely clean coal. Low sulfur, low ash, low chlorine, no mercury. All of the elements that concern environmentalists, our coal does not have an issue with. We have, we have excellent industry expertise. My CEO was former, former head of mining operations for Consol Energy, one of the largest producers of coal uh, in the world. We have an excellent safety record. You hear about some of the mines in, in Virginia that have had problems with the methane gas and things of that nature. We don't have problems with gas, methane gas in our mine at all. Uh, we've run a very, very safe operation. We have uh, long-term contracts of oh, up to $500 million over the next decade, about half of that over the next five years. And last but not least, it's time for us to scale our operations. We have the sales in place, we have the people ready to go, it's time for us to scale our operations. Okay, bottom line is, there's no fuel that's done better than coal over the last 10 years, and that's not gonna change. Over the next 20 years, it's anticipated that coal consumption is going to escalate by more than 60%. Right now, as we speak, coal accounts for more than 41% of the electricity generated in the world. Okay, so where's the consumption coming from? This isn't going to be a surprise to anybody. Right now, China uh, consumption is about 6 billion tons per year. I'm sorry, 3 billion tons for the, for the whole world, six billion tons a year. China is accounting for 50% of that, three billion tons per year. So if you look at the, um, back in the 90s, uh, China's consumption was about the same as the US. Now they far exceeded us, and China's gonna be the big player in consu coal consumption going forward. The chain, now contrast that, pull them back up. It's an amazing statistic. But right now, China is deploying resources to bring on one coal-fired plant per week. That's what we're looking at in China. Contrast this slide with the next one. Okay, so compare the United States coal reserves to China. China has about half the coal reserves in the United States. One of my colleagues says that the U.S. is essentially the OPEC of coal, and I would absolutely agree with that. So the bottom line is it's very, very apparent coal needs to come to the United States get coal, and they're doing that. They're coming at us very, very aggressively. Right now, uh, spot price for coal in uh, the state of Utah for our grade of coal is about $41 per ton. Uh, just a couple of years ago, guys, this number was actually in the mid-20s or in the, in the high 20s, and uh, we've actually seen it go up to as high as 50, and we actually are seeing that again. It's moving back towards 50, and we, ex we see that exceeding that uh, in the not too, near, not too uh, distant future. Okay, let's talk about our coal. Our coal is low in sulfur, less than half a percent sulfur, which means it's a compliant coal. Uh, it's steam coal, which means it's used to fire generators to generate electricity. Historically, we have sold our coal to um, utilities in the western United States. Our customers include Pacific Corp, which is one of the biggest western utilities, a Warren Buffett company, also Intermountain Power Agency, which is affiliated with Los Angeles Power and Light. Our uh, BTU is around 12,000, which is very, very strong. Uh, and as I mentioned previously, low sulfur, low ash coal. We've produced about 1.6 million tons and actually over that over the last several years from the Horizon Mine. Okay, this is an image of a continuous miner. And you can see there's a huge roller on the front of it. And what you do is you pull that unit up to the, uh, the face or the wall. It grinds the coal out 
falls down and essentially into a, a conveyor belt that goes shoots out the back of it. It's loaded into a shuttle car and then loaded on a conveyor belt that carries it out of the mine. We currently have two continuous miners working in our mine. Over the last several years, we were only operating with one. In uh, February of this year, we deployed two. Our, um, our production has drastically escalated. Typically, with one continuous miner, you can produce about 30,000 tons per mine. And so we currently deployed, we've deployed our second one, and we, what we're planning on doing is, is uh, ramping that up to, a, to the point of 60,000 tons per month during this quarter. Guys, at, at, at 60,000 tons per, mo per month, the company turn, turns cash positive. Over the last several years, what we've been doing is, is developing the mine, meaning we've been creating the super highway under the mine, which is high cost, low production. Now we've deployed a second continuous miner, and a spigot of production is really about to aggressively turn on. So right now, we're currently wrapping up the second continuous miner to a level of 60,000 tons per month to turn cash positive this quarter. In addition, we're going out and looking for and actually identifying uh, our third set of equipment to deploy a third continuous miner to open up a third section of the mine. We anticipate uh, ramping up to 90,000 tons per month with the third unit. And so, so if we do the math, 90,000 tons per month, that's about a little bit over a million tons per year. We just said that spot price is a little bit over $40 a ton, so you're looking at around $40 million revenues run rate. I, I refer to this as our phase one expansion. The phase two expansion is a long wall unit. Long wall unit is a completely different animal. If you look at the continuous miners, think of those as kind of ants that go through the mine and dig tunnels through the mine. Long wall is completely different. It's almost like a caterpillar. Long wall unit will be over 200 feet in length. You kind of pull it up the length of it up to the wall, and it takes a huge slice out of the um, out of the out of the face of coal. And so, so to illustrate what one continuous miner can do in 10 hours, a long wall can do in 45 minutes. So it's less um, less cost cost plunge by about 40 percent. With a long wall miner, you can produce about five million tons per year. And so, do the math: five million tons, forty dollars a ton. You look, you're looking at over 200 million dollars in revenues. Our mine, we're doing development right now. The mine would be ready for about a long wall in, in about a year. And the cost of long wall is about $30 million. Uh, the return on it is very, very quick. 